Hey, this is Glendon Cameron with day eight of the power of six. You will need a very open mind, 10 to 18 minutes per day. Every little step you take, building your life, constructing your life is a process. One of the things that I find very interesting that is not present in school systems is the ability to plan activities and set goals. That should be a class given to kids from first grade up to high school. Goal setting and goal planning, 101, 102, 102, and it's not there. And that is, in my opinion, more critical than knowing what E.E. Cummings wrote many years ago. I think you should know what E.E. Cummings wrote and I also think you should know how to strategically plan your life. I think that is a core skill that is missing out of the public education system. One of the things that we are not taught as children is we have the power to construct our lives. The life you have is one of passive or active construction. It did not just happen. The early stage in my life was passive I just kind of went here and I did this there was a few moments of active construction such as deciding on my MOS when I went to the military picking Hawaii to live that worked out very nicely but I dropped the ball in so many other areas because I was under that thing of hey there's karma it's fate uh no it's a process I think one of the biggest things that helped me come out of my fog was when I gave up horoscopes. I used to be extremely superstitious, extremely. And it was really, really hard for me to shake because I would read the horoscopes and I was into all of the, you know, astrology. And some days I would not read my horoscope because I'll read it the next day to see if it was true. And then I just started to know that. There was general traits that were kind of sort of true, but it was so wrong so often that I couldn't have any faith in it. I was like, yeah, let this go. Because one of the things I was doing was conditioning my mind to accept the facts of the horoscope as true and manifest them into reality. And when I stopped doing that and I stopped being superstitious, I began to get on certain paths and stay there. Because it's a choice. Today began the process of actively building your life. You have that power. You really do. And part of you know the hustler's mindset is shaking and pulling all this stuff out of your mind because you're operating on many beliefs that you inherited from society, your parents, friends, whatnot, that don't serve you well because they're limiting your potential. So understand you can construct a life. With day eight, you will put five things on your list to be done. All of these things are to be hard. When I say hard, this is, you you got to organize the garage. Put that on the list. You know, to clean up the basement. Put that on the list. Big projects. Big, big projects. Because what you have to understand is there's a grooming and a developmental process of doing this because you're going to have things that you put on your list that are going to be like <laughs> legally split. You can get them done in 30 seconds. You can get them done in a minute. Some of these things you've been on your to-do list for months, but you never actually dedicated the time to do them. That's why they're still on the to-do list. But there are some things that will take certain steps, process, uh, extra help, that you should put on your list so you can learn how to navigate and manage larger projects. Think of the hardest things you you have to be done this week. It might take you two or three days to get them to done, but once you get them done, they're done. So with that, begin. And this is Glendon, and I will see you in the next session.